No, that's great. Awesome. Thank you. You're very welcome. I've got call I've got room for one more question. And it's it's Gwyneth Paltrow's after show party, right? How'd you know? G Pap. How'd you know? <laughs> that's like yeah, that's my that's my current band. I don't know. I, I must have saw it somewhere. It was a very that's good guess. So funny. Yeah, we <laughs> we were um well I, I play drums in another band called Thurston. Uh -huh. And uh he and I got together with two of my old bandmates and we were trying to come up with a name. And he was like, wouldn't it be funny if like all the bars, because like, at the at the time that we <laughs> when oh, yeah, so, yeah. was like everywhere with goop, like everyone was making yeah. fun of her. And we're like, how funny would it be for every bar to have tonight the Gwyneth Paltrow after party? <laughs> so, that's, so that's our band's name, the Gwyneth Paltrow after party. Because we just that's wanted people to be like, it's all about marketing, right? Like getting people that into that brilliant. bar for, our, for us to play. That and so good. yeah, so that's. That's it. It's like a, a progression from like the free calling yourself free beer or <laughs> brilliant. Like Absolutely, it. we have actually done that too. We I was in a band and we were we were sponsored by um, by Lone Star Beer, which is a uh, PBR. It's like a the Texas version of PBR, same company, and they like actually sponsored my band because of my marketing that I was doing. We were filling up bars, and one night I, I went to my the bar manager. I said, "Look, hear me out." I was like, I'm gonna get us a keg from Lone Star Beer. And she's like, what? No one's gonna pay for it. I was like, trust me. I was like, we're gonna like buy the entire bar beer all night long. The next day, like she was like, Laurel, we sold more shots and anything and like than anything by a lead mag at the time I didn't know what a lead magnet was, right? But that was a lead magnet to get people into our show. Oh, you're on call. That's great. Um, I was gonna ask you about that's a great link. Um, would you come on my show, The Prosperous Musician? I'll talk to people yeah. in the music space um, who do all kinds of things, but marketing would be great. I would, I would love to. I've got lots of stories like that. We ended up getting like a sponsorship from like a tequila and stuff. And, and I actually did it. I forget which training I did recently with the $7 program. I used yeah. my example because I was like, all of the bars wanted my band to play. It wasn't because my band was the best band, but my, my band did the best marketing for the other bands who were on the bill. Because our crowd already knows what we sound like, so we would market the other bands to try to talk our people into going to the show because they've already seen us. Why should they go see us again? We would market based on the other bands of the bill. And it was a, it was a neat little thing that none of the other bands were doing. And we were we were we got pretty big. Like my original band, like we got pretty big. We play House of Blues and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, it was all because of marketing. It wasn't because we were good. <laughs> That's great. Well, we actually sucked. Like it was just all marketing. <laughs> That's brilliant. Now that this is exactly the kind of thing we want on the <laughs> on the show, it's perfect.